going into my night shift. It is currently 5 p.m. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do a few more procedures. I'm kind of rusty with my venipuncture and my cannula since the holiday, so um, I'll let you know what things I achieve by the end of the shift. So Anne, would you like to share one fact you learned during this shift? Lactate indicates ischemia. In where specifically? GIT. Woo! High Crazy. five! <laughs> Thank it is currently 9.30. I have just finished my night shift. My doctor was awesome today. He uh, asked me a lot of relevant questions which prompted me to really use some of my own knowledge and um, got me to understand a bit more about what happens if we take uh, biochemistry and you know small cellular level concepts into clinical presentations. An interesting patient that I saw was a patient with epigastric um, right upper quadrant pain, um, had one episode of vomiting in the morning um, along with some unexplained myalgia um, all over the body interesting thing was that after taking medical history we realized that she had her gallbladder removed which means automatically that it can't be cholecystitis because the definition of cholecystitis is inflammation of the gallbladder this means that we had to escalate a differential diagnosis to cholangitis which means infection of the common bile duct uh, which is much more severe condition that can escalate into um, sepsis anytime so it's really important for her to, for us to get repeat bloods, um, do a CT scan, stats, and to refer to refer her to gastro. Another interesting patient I saw was um, a patient with a history of dementia presenting with delirium. The difference between delirium and dementia is that delirium is acute and it is fluctuating consciousness, whereas dementia is gradual and it is non-reversible um, change in consciousness. Um, this patient um, had a frontotemporal dementia, which usually comes with symptoms of aphasia, meaning that he can't really understand and comprehend what other people are saying. As a result, it was a bit hard to get a formal history from him. Now, the patient presented with multiple trauma injuries with head strike, um, ecchymosis all over his face, um, and multiple scratches on his arms, which made us promptly order a CT brain, C-spine, and facial bones, along with chest x-ray to see if infection, especially chest infection, was the cause, as well as a full ward test to see if a UTI could have been the cause of an infection, considering he presented with um, a 38 degree temperature. Okay, so I'm at my car now, so I'm going to end here, but it was a really, really good night shift. I've got one more week of ED left, which is kind of really sad, but I'm going to make the most of it and update you guys soon. Thank you.